If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You use the validation rule and validation text field properties for a selected table field in Access in tandem. Setting the validation rule field property lets you either manually type an expression or use the expression builder dialog box to create an expression that only allows data entry that meets the specified expression into the field. For example, you could specify that field entries for a birth date field cannot be a future date. Once the rule is in place, you then type the error message you want access to show when an entry doesn't meet the expression into the validation text property. To set a validation rule on a selected field in table design view in access, select the table to open in design view within the navigation pane. Then press the control plus enter keys on your keyboard or right click it in the navigation pane and then select the design view command from the pop-up menu to open the table in design view. Then select the field to which to apply the validation rule in the design grid at the top of the table's design view. In the field properties section at the bottom of the window, select the general tab. Then enter the rules expression, which is like an Excel formula, into the validation rule property. You can either manually type the expression into the property field, or use the expression builder dialog box to help you create the rules expression. To use the Expression Builder dialog box, click into the property field. Then click the small ellipsis button that appears at its right end to open the Expression Builder dialog box, where you can then use the buttons and functions listed in this dialog box to create your validation rules expression. Then click the OK button in the Expression Builder dialog box when finished to insert the rules expression into the property field. To then set the error message the user sees when they enter a value that violates the validation rule, click into the Validation Text property field. Then type the text to display for the error message into that property field. When you are done, save your changes by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.